Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my March favorites, and I am filming this early, but I already know that this was my favorite. Um, I'm also gonna get this up early, so it's gonna be a few days before March ends. Obviously, today's the 29th, I believe, Saturday. Yeah, the last Saturday of the month, and I thought that was perfect, so I'm just gonna um record now. And I kind of have a lot of favorites, and I did not do one last month, but I explained why I didn't, so I do have favorites this month that I wanted to share with you guys, so mm, let's switch it up. I always do um, makeup and beauty stuff first, so let's reverse it, and I'll do like random stuff first. So the first thing that I want to talk about is my favorite TV show, and this I've probably been loving for a few months now, but I have not had the chance to talk about it because I keep forgetting. But it is American Horror Story, and if you know me, I love horror kind of things, movies, anything, and it is just the best show ever. And I still love Vampire Diaries, Dancing with the Stars just came back on, but American Horror Story probably has to be my favorite show right now. And definitely go start watching it if you haven't. Yeah, if you like horror and you are not queasy and your stomach doesn't get upset easily, go ahead and watch that because it's just so good. Now I have music, and this isn't just um, like a song or an artist, of course, it still has to do with Marina, but um, I listen to 8 tracks, which I've talked about before all the time, and um, there's a playlist that I always seem to be listening to and going back to. There's, I mean, I'm changing it up. I have, there's like a million different Marina playlists out there, but the one I always am listening to is, uh, it's called OMG. I'll show you in a second. I have to find out who made it. Oh, um, Destiny Michelle and Ian Destiny is an ex. So that, and then it has all the songs. Well, actually, no. Those are the songs that I've played so far. It like mixes up every time if you know how a tracks works, but yeah, it looks like that. The song right now is Lies. I haven't really listened to it. I'm just, this is, I just pulled it up. So it looks like that. That's the mix that I have listened to the most in this month. I thought I'd share that with you. I don't really have food this month. That is a favor that's standing out to me, but I do have a drink type thing, and then something to go along with that. So I decided to stop drinking coffee every morning or like every other morning a few times a week because first of all I was whitening my teeth for the bar mitzvah and I just decided to stop and started drinking tea and tea it doesn't really wake me up as much as coffee I just kind of pretend it does but I like drinking things in the morning just to help me like function I don't know because I don't eat breakfast so I mean it kind of helps. I love chamomile tea and then the one I just happen to have in my house that I use is Wegmans brand chamomile herbal tea. I just kind of I've used my Keurig for hot water and stick this in there and I'm good to go. So I really like tea and I put a lot of honey in it and it's just great for the mornings. So I'm going to try out different flavors and everything. To go along with that, I don't want to bring a mug with me to school and in the car and I have to put it in my backpack. So um, I also have used this for the whole entire year, but I just started talking about it because I felt like it was the perfect time. But it is my travel mug thing. Um, I mean, it's not anything like revolutionary. It's just the mug I love to use. It's from Walmart, I believe, and it says like all these different kinds of coffee on it. It just uses every day. I think it's 12 ounces, and yeah, it keeps it keeps it hot all morning. Like it, by the time I get to school, like an hour after I make it, it's still hot. So it's really insulated and it's good. So Walmart probably has some good travel mugs. Now for skincare and body, I'm putting those together. I have three things that are, they're all like different. So the first one, I guess it has to do with body. It is a hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. And I wanted to talk about this because uh, it's a little different. And um, it's the sparkling pink champagne one. It is pink and I think this is one of the ones that Evan got me for Christmas uh, slash the holidays. Um, but yeah, I want to talk about it because it's been on my backpack. Like I do like to change my hand sanitizer to have a little like a holder thing attached to my backpack and I like to change it every every week, but I forgot. So this is on like the most of the month and I just love how it smells, so I might as well just put it in this video. And yeah, <laughs> I can't really describe the smell, but it just is a hand sanitizer for, you know, getting your hands not disgusting. 
<laughs> what more can I say? And I have a body butter from the Body Shop. This is the uh, Vineyard Peach, and I use this on my legs after I shave, and it just... I haven't used it that much, but I've had it for kind of a while, and I've just realized how much I love this. Super hydrating. Um, it works for like the, the night and then the day after when I use it, but um, it's super thick, and oh my god. I just love peach scents. It smells so good. Um, it's kind, It doesn't smell like Market Peach from Bath & Body Works, which by the way, they came back out with, and I'm going to go check it out soon, but... Oh, it smells amazing, and I think I just got some on my nose. It's super hydrating, like I said, and the big one and I don't know if they still sell this it might have been limited edition but I really hope they do because if I ever run out of it but I love it and then the last skin kind of thing is fix plus and I've been using this a lot recently my Mac is if you can see I'm literally almost done um, it's just a really great overall spray setting spray it helps settle your powder so they don't look powdery on your face and it's also hydrating I just really love this for everything <laughs> Um, I have two hair care products. Um, I still use I still use the same shampoo and conditioner, but I thought I'd mention these things because I've been reaching for them most out of all my hair products, and I have a lot. So this is the first one is the Not Your Mother's Lock Luster, and it's like an argan oil. Um, it has this little cap, and then it snaps open. It smells amazing. Kind of smells like um, Marrakesh oil that I showed you in my haul from IBS, but um, yeah, it's a drugstore version. It's like six dollars. I got this a while ago. And it's just really good for putting on, making your hair smooth and smell good and shiny and um, easy to style. And I just like to use this on my hair and it makes my hair look really nice. And then also, this is, oh, it's actually almost empty. Um, it's the Healthy Sexy Hair, or the Sexy Hair, um, Soy tri wheat Leave-In Conditioner. It's basically like a multi-purpose spray. Um, I use this to detangle and just to add to like condition my hair a little more when I get out of the shower. It's like a really fine mist, which is nice. Um, I really hope I can find the full size of this because if I run out soon, which I probably will, I want to buy more. It smells, um, oh, it actually smells really good. Um, it's like perfumed and yeah, I am almost out of this. So I'm going to try to go find it, but it's a really great product. I'm surprised I don't have any lip stuff. Like this last month or this month, I haven't really used lips, lip colors like a lot. I'm kind of, I don't know, but I just bought some new stuff that I'll be showing you in a haul eventually. Anyway, enough blabbering. I'm like talking about I'm gonna try to use more lip colors. Um, I just have some makeup products that I've been liking a lot. So I'm just gonna grab them. The first one, actually I've talked about these in like my like favorites update video that was like a substitute for February favorites, but it was also me talking to you about stuff that's happening. But this is the product that I've been using for my eyebrows pretty much the whole month. Um, yeah, it's the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder little duo thing, and then it has the wax. Um, I really, it's in the brunette, shade brunette. I really like this stuff. It's just, it matches me really, really perfectly. I use the darker side because the other one's too reddish. And sometimes I like to use the wax and like mix it in. That's why there's color in there, but it's just a really, really good um, eyebrow product. It's easy to um, do. And it just looks really nice. I don't know how to really describe it, but it's a really good product. I also talked about this in that other video, but it's the Boeing Concealer by Benefit. Um, of course, the whole month I was using my Maybelline Dark Circle Eraser Concealer under my eyes, but I felt it wasn't necessary to talk about that because I always like, talk about it. But yeah, that's obviously a favorite. But this concealer is really, really great for blemishes. You only need a little bit, and I just dab it on wherever I need to cover up, and it works. It's super creamy. And it matches me really well. This isn't the lightest shade because I'm a pale AF. I'm pale AF. I was going to say pale mother effort, but I didn't. Alright, I'm like all over the place. Sorry, I need to control myself. The next thing is um, CoverGirl Blush, CoverGirl Cheekers Blush or whatever in Pretty Peach number 150. It is just a pretty peach color, like it says. And uh, yeah. I don't wear blush that often, but this is the one I've been reaching for when I do. It's just a really natural, like, blush color. It's got some, like, frostiness to it and looks really pretty on the cheeks, so I've been liking to use this. 
I just need to try new bronzers and blushes. Like, that's the thing I don't have that much of. Like, I set, tend to stick with the same ones. So if you have any recommendations for me, leave them down below. I'm looking for new stuff. But speaking of bronzer, this is the newest one I purchased. You saw me haul it. It's the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. And, of course, it's a favorite because, I mean, I knew I would like it. But it's the, I think it's the lighter one in 021 Sunlight. But it is just a bronzer. It's not completely matte. It looks like it has some shimmer, but it comes out really matte on the face. Um, it's just a great, more natural bronzer. It's not great for contouring, but it does have a little bit of an orangey undertone. I don't know. I just really like it. It's smooth in the skin. It doesn't make my face look muddy or too orangey, so that's good. Um, and it's also really pigmented, so you don't need that much. Uh, and I've been liking to use this. And it's also good to use with another bronzer to contour, because it helps blend out the contour. And a face powder. Um, I also need to get some new ones of these, but... Um, I've used, probably talked about this before, it is the um, Clinique the um, 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 Stay Matte Sheer Pressed Powder and it says it's in like the shade 02 Stay Neutral but it's basically translucent, um, it doesn't come up with much color on the face, it's just a really fine powder to use to set everything in your, on your face. Um, and I don't know, it's not cakey and it keeps me matte but not like disgustingly matte. Like, matte but not flat <laughs> that's the name of like a nyx powder but yeah that's the way to describe this and then for mascara which is the last few things i want to talk about um i always switch my mascaras i have a ton of them that need to go through but i have been leaning towards these two the most the first one is the covergirl lash blast you know how much i love this but i have been using this a lot more than the clum crusher this month i pretty much use this every day it's just a really 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 amazing mascara volumizing separating and lengthening which i love and then the Benefit They're Real, which I have a mini, I also have another one, so when I run out of those, which I probably will soon, I will buy the full size because it's a great mascara. It is totally worth the hype. Um, it just makes my lashes huge, and I love huge lashes. And I did not use it today because I'm just wearing false lashes. I just didn't feel like putting on mascara, so I just popped them on. But yeah, that is that those are all my favorites for the month of march so if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up um thumbs up for favorites videos i'm probably posting in the middle of everyone else but yeah i have a lot of pre-film videos that are you're gonna see randomly so some of them might have a different background but yeah i don't know what i'm talking about i'm blabbering on but again make sure you thumbs up if you like this subscribe to my other channels links will be down below Follow me on all my social media websites and make sure you leave a comment below letting me know some of your March favorites and Yeah, again subscribe. It really helps me out and I will see you guys next week. Have a wonderful week and Yeah, bye